Hi you guys, I'm here to show you everything that I purchased from thrift stores in Portland. Let's get started. So this first item I don't have on a hanger and I feel like it would be best if I did have it on a hanger but I am going to do cutaways and show you me trying the items on. This is a weird like wrap thing and I know wrap dresses are like very in or wrap tops but I haven't ever had one and I've actually never worn this and I've had it for a few months. It's like a wrap crop top with quarter sleeves. I used to have tops like this in the 90s slash 2000s. No, in the 2000s because I was like five in the 90s. <laughs> and I got this at a Goodwill, but it's the brand Old Navy. So then this next item is also from a Goodwill and it's a skirt and it has a big zipper down the middle that like actually i'm pretty sure yeah it literally unzips the whole way so gotta kind of be careful with that but it's just from zara originally it also has this really cute pocket right here that's an actual pocket which is kind of cool super cute i think that's gonna be nice for the um summer i debated selling it on my depop 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 i don't know i feel like i'm always getting corrected no matter how i say it Someone's always like, you're saying it wrong. So anyways, there's that. And I debated putting it on my Depop, but I kind of really like it. So I might just keep it for a while and then put it on my Depop. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but if you don't follow my Depop and you've got an account, then go follow me, it's Bedhead Beth. And me and Audrey both sell our clothes on my account, by the way. So then I've also got these shorts and I got these at a little thrift store that's actually like a hair salon and a thrift store in one. It was by a vegan cafe that me and Audrey went to all the time and it was super cute. So I got these there. They are a little big on me but I kind of like that like saggy boyfriend look sometimes and they are just the workwear LEI vintage denim. LEI I think is like sold at Walmart if I'm not mistaken. Another brand that I used to wear all the time in the early 2000s. Okay, so now I have a bunch of pants to show you all, and then we'll get into tops. This pair of shorts I also got at that, like, dual hair salon slash thrift store, and they are gray. They're super high-waisted, um, and they've got kind of like a cargo-y look going on with all of the buttons and pockets, but I really like it. I like how um, loose they are on the thighs. I feel like I really am into, like, um, shorts slash pants that are super tight at the waist but then kind of go out to give you that like vintage Marilyn Monroe kind of hourglass shape. So then I got these Madison Square black high-waisted skinny jeans with a rip in each knee. I did not put the rips in there. They were already like that but they're super comfortable. Another item that's like kind of big on me but kind of like it that way. They're also very comfortable and a very like stretchy material but I got these at the um, Crossroads thrift store. Crossroads is like a chain like Buffalo Exchange if you know what that is but we don't have them in Texas or Oklahoma but we do have them both in Portland and in New York. Then this item I think I might have on to pop but maybe I don't. I don't know but these are some brown pants that I think are yeah they're a, a petite like so they're for like tiny 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 people they're a size four but they're from the brand Jones New York and they have like this weird stretch waist which I actually really like um but they're a slight like too small I think I got those I want to say just at a Goodwill and then I got these also at a Goodwill these are Levi's they are burnt orange corduroys but they were super long so I cropped them I just cut some a couple inches off the bottom and they aren't high-waisted I don't think so I haven't worn them at all yet but I'm excited to wear them because I think that they're gonna be super cute and I love this color which I'm kind of mad at myself for not wearing them at all this winter because they might be it might be too hot outside now to get away with that but maybe with like a cropped tank top or something I'll be able to get away with wearing those and not like die from heat stroke oh hello Mar Okay, I need to start going faster because I feel like this is going to take so long if I keep going this slow. I'll show you some accessories that we got. These are some sunglasses that are pretty retro looking. I feel like they are really cute. They're almost like the Kurt Cobain sunglasses, but a little different. Another accessory that we got that I am actually going to sell on my Depop. It's a guest purse that you could use either as a clutch 
um, but it also has a metal strap. It's so cute, y'all, like so cute. And it also has some like texture to it, little detailing on it. And it's actually a really good size. Like I can fit my wallet, sunglasses, and my vlog camera in there and still have room for other junk. A few more accessories, I have this cheetah leopard print beret that you've seen me wear in quite a few vlogs and sit down videos. I love it, I wear it all the time. And I got this at Buffalo Exchange. Then I got two belts. This one is pink and studded, or not studded, what's it called? Uh, Audrey, what is it called when there's like a hole, a metal hole? Anyways, I love it. I have a belt kind of like this, well, a lot like it. That's black, but it has some stars on it as well that I got in New York, and I wear it all the time, so I figured I would get a pink one as well, and it is from Goodwill. And then I got this belt, also at Goodwill, and it's beautiful. I feel like it has Gucci vibes because of the colors. So then there are two pairs of shoes that I got. These are from Goodwill. They're just some platform black sandals. I love them. I'm like so obsessed with them and I haven't had a chance to wear them yet, but they have a strap around the toe and then a strap around the ankle. And I just think that they're so fun. Like I'm so excited to wear these. Then these next pair of shoes I got at Buffalo Exchange and most of the thrift stores I'm talking about are on Hawthorne Street, guys, if you are in the Portland area. These are so cute. They are just some combat boots that tie up, but then they also have straps over them. They also have pearls on them, and then they also have little metal studs. So I just think that they're, they're like so hectic in the best way possible. Okay, so that's all of the accessories in pants and shoes. All I have left are tops to show you all. And they're all on hangers because we've been obviously wearing these items for a while now. This is a yellow top that is long sleeve. It's like a sweater material, but it's pretty thin. And it's originally the brand American Eagle. So I love this color. I think it's like the perfect pale pastel yellow and I got this at a Goodwill. This top we also got at a Goodwill. It is the brand Mystic Sun and it's V70s in my opinion. Super retro colors, the cut, and I think it's just super fun. And I don't have very many short sleeves that are this uh, kind of like a button-up top so I'm excited to wear this. Maybe even like tied in the front with shorts. Then this top is a super oversized Elizabeth brand by Liz Claiborne. It's super oversized white and red t-shirt. Audrey embroidered it and it says it's French or something like that in French. Um, but yeah, it's super cute, like the perfect oversized top. By the way, on our Depop, we custom make um, embroidered tops and jeans if you request, it's obviously like an added fee, but if you message me on Depop, I can embroider anything, any item that you see on there for you. You can also message me and request like, hey, will you be looking out for an extra small t-shirt to embroider, blah, blah, blah. What? Are you bored? Yeah? Okay, I'm sorry. Keeping with the stripes themed, wait, <laughs> keeping with the striped theme, is this navy blue super oversized top. It is originally the brand Puritan. It's a men's large. This is really cute to tuck in and belt or do like a little front tuck with some shorts. Then this is kind of like a, like basically the same top but not oversized and um, different, <laughs> completely different, but still white and navy blue striped t-shirt. It's a lot smaller and it has like cool, uh, details on around the neck and the sleeves and it's a weird material. I don't know what kind of material it is, but it's almost like a towel material. I don't know, but it's the brand Prophecy Petite by Sag Harbor and we got it at Goodwill. These if I don't say where we got it, it's Goodwill. So this top we got at that same like salon slash thrift store thrift store and it is just a black t-shirt that says army on it, has an eagle, and it says Fort Leonard Wood on the bottom. I'm always looking for, I have, there's like hair on every single one of these t-shirts, but I'm always looking for cute, relaxed t-shirts. Love me some graphic tees. But it's really hard to find vintage ones that are truly vintage. Like this one's like clearly not a vintage tee, it's like vintage inspired. Um, but I feel like this is more of like an actual vintage tee, which I like. 
This t-shirt was from a thrift store on Hawthorne called The Red Light, and it's just a Beatles tee. This is another one that I feel like is true vintage Beatles tee. It's very oversized. I think it's like a men's tee, but it has a lot of like wear on it, some holes, a little bit of bleach. It looks like it got spilled on there, and it's very worn, like it's been washed a thousand times. But that's what makes it amazing, right? I freaking love it. It's so sick. My car was full, so if it looks different, that's why. But I was talking about this uh, t-shirt right here. It's kind of like a baseball t-shirt, maybe, I think. But it's the brand Bike. And I think that, yeah, this is like was literally a sports uniform. It's the number 10 on the back and we got it at Goodwill. This next item we also got at the red light on Hawthorne, but it's a red t-shirt that says cross country, OAL invitational? What's OAL? Oregon something something. But it's also a really cute like retro t-shirt that I feel like is really cute, tucked in with a belt or um, with shorts. You can do literally so many freaking cool outfits with basic t-shirts so I'm always on the hunt for a good one I feel like I don't have a ton probably have five that five t-shirts that I like really like so I need to start hunting for more this next item it literally says made in Hawaii USA but it looks very Hawaiian and it was inspired by Zach Farrow if you follow him I feel like he's always wearing Hawaiian t-shirts like this or like touristy t-shirts But it's just like a bright red button-up that was from Goodwill and so is this one I feel like not that it matters because these are like one-off items. It's not like you can go to Goodwill and find it But anyways, this is the brand Amanda Smith It's in a size medium and it's like a sweater material But it's short sleeve and it has rainbow stripes going all the way down it, which I feel like is so cool. This item is not unique. It's very basic, but it's super comfortable and I'm pretty sure it was like two bucks, but it's the Mossimo brand. They sell it at Target, but we got it at Goodwill and we were dying for long sleeve shirts that we could wear underneath sweaters because um, we just didn't have very much and it was like snowing all the time in Portland. Okay, four more items and they are all jackets slash hoodies. So this hoodie we got at the red light on Hawthorne and it's just a navy blue um, Mickey hoodie. We actually cropped it. It was a full on hoodie. I wonder what brand it is. Oh, it's from the Disney store. All I say is so cute. I literally have no other word to describe anything other than it's so cute. But this is a sports jacket. It's uh, the brand Athletic Works. I don't even know what that is. I think that they sell that at Walmart maybe. But we got it at Goodwill and it's just like a black uh, zip up with white stripes. It's kind of cropped. I think it's like a kid's medium. Um, oh yeah, it's like for eight to 10 year olds. Okay, two more jackets. They're both kind of like denim jackets. This one is from Buffalo Exchange and it's originally a Gap jacket. It's this very like tropical corally color it's pretty oversized it's a large but i have been obsessed with this i also think this is going to be fun to wear during the spring and summer because of the color although i don't know if i'm going to be able to wear it very often because i don't know how hot it's going to get here but like maybe indoors i can carry it around with me and then when i go inside i'll throw it on okay the v last item so this is a unif jacket we found it at, actually Audrey found it, at Crossroads. The sleeves are cropped, it's a little cropped. I love the white stitching on it. It's just very like quirky almost. I love Unif clothes and we don't have any because they're freaking expensive as crap. And even on Depop, I feel like people sell Unif stuff for so expensive still. Um, it's like kind of like lazy of pricing, but even the tag is so cute. Okay, so that's everything that like I'm keeping that we bought. We have a lot that we bought for Depop, like to sell on Depop. I'm gonna show you some of those items. This is a pair of Gap denim and me and Audrey DIY'd some red ribbon down the side. I freaking love it. It's like a boot cut fit. Then we also DIY'd these. These were just some gray um, velvety sweatpants, but we put a rainbow stripe down the side. I freaking love those. Like, I keep toying with, like, keeping it because I love that pair. And I don't have very many sweatpants, so, like, maybe I'll keep them. But for now, they're on to pop, so if anyone buys them, I guess I'll just sell them. 
and then make myself a new pair. Then we have two striped tops. These are also both super cute. Audrey DIY'd this one with some cross stitching, it says, but boy, you ain't ever seen my mind, which are Paramore lyrics. And I love the like mock neck, but it's still short sleeve. I also love this top. I just love everything. We just have too much, too many clothes. This one's kind of similar to that, but this one hasn't been DIY'd yet. So if you guys request anything, we can um, embroider it for you. Then we also have a pair of high-waisted swimsuit bottoms and they're just like a black and white floral print. I love these. I tried them on and they're so cute, but I want to keep them if no one buys them before summer. <laughs> okay, last item is just this Gap sweater. It's a hunter green, kind of a thin sweater. It's a little more fitted than I normally um, buy, but we wore the crap out of it in Portland and now we are ready to part ways because um, we just have so many sweaters. Hopefully, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to do more like fashion related outfit of the day or outfit of the week videos, let me know. I could also do more hauls in the future. If you guys want that, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below. And I also have all of my links in the description box as well to all my social media platforms and stuff. And my Depop info is down there as well. So. I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.